Hello, this is Goji here, and welcome to another reaction video. And today, we'll be reacting to Kenshin Chaos Episode 10, Season Finale, Kuja vs. Super Gods Lord. Oh boy, I've been waiting all day for this. Let's watch, shall we? We returned the body of Ultraman. Okay, what well, was that? Something very dangerous. It has slain many kaiju in its path. It first came out of nowhere and defeated its first opponents with ease. Who who did he fight? That kaiju is nowhere in our records. It's of little consequence now, as it's long gone. After its first victory, it continued into the city, killing two other kaiju, Destroya and the human mechanized Kiryu. After that, it moved into a rural area and killed Violante as if it was nothing. Where does it get its power from? We do not know. What's problematic is the portal it has been attracted to. Is it controlling the portal? How can it have that kind of power? I don't think this beast is controlling the portal. It seems to be drawn to it and being directed by another force. I have yet to discover who or what is behind this. Then it was randomly sent to Antarctica to face off against Gigan. With each victory, this creature grows in power, so Gigan was no match. Then it landed into the city where Ultraman confronted it. Yes, it was a good thing he sent out the distress beacon, otherwise we would not have known about this threat until it was too late. What has happened since we went to retrieve Ultraman? It has been on a massive tour of killing anything in its path. It faced against Gamera and took some damage, but put Gamera into stasis. We do not know the current vitals for him. After that, he went to face King Kong in the Hollow Earth. King Kong stood his ground, but was still no match and fell. Interesting. How can we defeat this guy? It, it just seems he's unstoppable. I'm not sure, but now I am monitoring him currently, and he has been fighting Godzilla. He's one of the most ferocious kaiju on Earth. He might be able to kill this creature. Yes. If anything, we can rely on him to finish this. Wait, what is... No. Godzilla is losing? Losing? But how? I'm not sure. Wait, something else is happening. It cannot be. What is that? Something horrible. That's it. I have to go. I need to assist Godzilla. Wow. If this beast wins, all will be lost. Did you find and bring the three Earth Guardians? Yes, we did, but one of them went rogue and we couldn't retrieve him. The others are ready to be sent to help. Unfortunate. But it should do. I must leave now and give Godzilla the ultimate power to face off against this creature. Yes, sir. I will send the Guardians to you as soon as I can. Good luck. How did cool, how did Ben grow his horn back? <laughs> Put his eye out. Torn his mouth off. Put his hand on. Thank you. 
ones who were linked to you will now return to life in their home dimensions. Go in peace, old king, so that I may return life to this world. Man, that was an amazing episode.
Well, that was interesting. That was pure awesomeness. <laughs> My only nitpick is, is that the fight for Kudaju of Supergaza is not that long. It's very brief. And for a 11 minute episode, wouldn't you expect the fight to be, you know, a little bit longer? <laughs> Like the fight only lasts is the fight legit only lasts is like three minutes. The the fight is really over like the fight legit only lasts for like three minutes. And it's an 11 minute episode. When you would expect the fight to last a little bit longer. <laughs> I don't know. That's my only nitpick about this. I wish the fight would have lasted, uh, you know, a little bit longer. Like, I get it. It's an 11 minute episode and you can't. <laughs> you can't just have the whole episode of them fighting and as we get actually no no one <laughs> like it's legit a uh, minute episode and the monsters are and Kuju and Supergaza are barely fighting like when you see a little minute episode you, I'm pretty sure you want to see the monsters fight the entire time Most of it is just. I feel like they're just sitting up for future projects in this episode. And for a finale, it doesn't really feel like a finale. It doesn't. It's a little. I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong, I do like the episode. I think it's enjoyable, but I wish Super Godzilla and Kuja fought a, a little bit longer. Maybe have them fight a little, a little bit, you know, like in a trip, two minutes or so. At least until like, I don't know, the eight minute mark. I mean, the fight's pretty brief. It is kind of cool to be saw sort of like Kusu. Take away. I think. I think the better ones like Kusu. Yeah, I think the better ones like Kusu. I, b I believe the red one Chris said in the past stream was fight Kusu. Yeah, I believe that one was fight Kusu. I believe that one was fight Kusu. I'm not sure what the other. I'm not sure what they're gonna name the other ones. They need to think of some names. <laughs> they need to think of some names. Like, come on. Come up with some names. I don't know. Call him John and Thrawn. <laughs> John and Thrawn. Imagine if those were the names. Like, John and Thrawn. John and Thrawn. <laughs> that would be so... <laughs> no, wait, wait. I got it. Jangala and Bwonga. And... No, Bwonga. No, no, no. The blue one should be named Jangala and the... Green one should be 
Bangor. I just came up with names for ya. Eh? Eh? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is a... I don't know. I'm just going to call the blue one Junga and the green one Bongo until we actually get official names. <laughs> I'm just going to call it that for now. I already know the name of the red Kaiju. I think, I think the red one's called like, Kusu. By Ku Suku, by Kusu, by Kusu, yeah, that's the middle time. But man, I can't wait for what Kitchen Chaos has in store. I think they kind of tease like a season. A possible season two, and they also kind of tease casual fantasy battles coming back. They kind of tease that a little bit with Belial. And who knows, maybe all the projects will be connected in a grand scheme and be. Span into an alternate and an expanded universe. I don't know. I'm just hoping that this, because this doesn't feel like it's the end for Kenshin Chaos. Well, it doesn't feel like a finale, to be honest. It doesn't really feel like when I compared to the last episode. <laughs> now that episode felt like a finale. But I would say this is probably probably yeah. I wouldn't say it's my favorite episode out of Catching Chaos. I think that one it goes to Okay. <laughs> I think, that one is, I think that one goes actually, I don't even know <laughs> mm, I'll probably have to think the episodes now <laughs> eh, I'll make it later maybe someone should create a tier list and maybe Kenshin Studios should create a tier list of Catching Chaos episodes <laughs> maybe Kenshin Studios should probably create a tier list of Catching Chaos episodes actually I'm kind of wondering if that's actually a thing <laughs> I wonder if actually someone made a Kitchen Chaos to this. Me actually took on Tier Maker. <laughs> Did someone legit make a Kitchen? Um, I'm I'm curious now. I'm actually curious. Anyway, before this episode goes way too long, I'm excited for what Kenshin Studios has in store for us in the future. I'm hoping there are some more animation projects. I'm pray to God there's some more animation projects. There's obviously Sean's um, people. If you saw that video I made, I kind of cast blue to Sean like um, Sean's back. <laughs> that Sean's back in Catching Chaos. And is back in the studio. I don't know. But anyway, this is Andrew Goji off. And remember, stay big, Catching fans.